What's up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Make sure you guys go down and subscribe and like the video especially if you have acne or if you're interested in it because your girl has a lot of it and I'm really good at educating you guys on it. Okay? Okay. Anyways, today I will be teaching you guys how to make face wash, natural, organic face wash that you can make your own pretty much. So I'm just gonna give you guys um, the like recipe of what I used and yeah, this is kind of a last minute thing and just, just so you know, I'm obsessed with it so far. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you would like to see how I make my own face wash for actually pretty cheap, then just keep watching. All right, so hear me out, right? So I'm at work and I'm looking around and I'm just walking around and I'm like zoning and like fixing everything and whatever, whatnot. And then I look and I see the Dr. Bronner's uh, Castile soap and everybody's been going crazy about this stuff, right? So I'm just looking and I'm like, dang, like, you know, I have the peppermint one, like whatever. And then I'm like, I really need a face wash. And then it hit me. And I'm like, why don't I just make my own face wash? So then my little happy ass gets on Pinterest and I'm looking through and I find this recipe. And it basically you use the Dr. Bronner's tea tree soap and then you use whatever oil you want and then you use honey. And God damn me, I bought it, okay? So today we're gonna make our own face wash and it's completely natural, organic. <sighs> Boom, everything I've tried for my face, this is one thing I have not tried, okay? And I know a lot about ingredients and I use a lot of organic stuff but my face wash is not organic. So we're gonna make one and I'm really excited. So real quick, let me show you guys the little article or whatever. So on Pinterest, I'm gonna screen record so I can like pop it in here. There, there you guys go, I'm gonna put it right here, okay? So on Pinterest, it has the little, you know, DIY honey face wash or whatever. So then whenever I click on it, my internet's gonna take a hot minute, so we're gonna turn off that Wi-Fi because I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi, but there's some kind of like frequency link leak freak there's some kind of frequency leak or something, and so my Wi-Fi sucks, but not the point. Anyways. So I scroll down and I see this and I'm like, okay, okay. And then I peep in the back the little pure Castile soap and I'm like, hey, that's exactly what I wanted, you know? Originally I was just looking for stuff to mix in with the, the face wash like what exactly will make it like a good consistency right but anyways so then I kept scrolling kept scrolling I'm looking down looking at it it tells me all about the ingredients and stuff and it says raw honey oh the screen records right there okay anyways. so it says raw honey and then it tells me why raw honey is good um, for your skin and whatever whatnot and it says that it's an it's a rich it says raw honey is naturally rich in antibacterial and probiotic properties honey is also gentle for sensitive skin but tough enough to remove dirt and other impurities first of all i didn't even know you could put honey on your skin like that i know some like face washes and skincare products have it in it but i didn't think it was actually like that good but anyways and then it has the castile soap okay now, they used the unscented one, which is like the baby one, but I wanted to use a tea tree one because I do have acne, so I wanted to like step it up a notch. And if, even if I use the unscented, I'd probably still put the tea tree in it, so I'd rather just have it already mixed, you know what I mean? And then, all you need is a skin oil. So I do have oily skin, so it says in here that oil dissolves oil, so... I got some vitamin E oil because that is supposed to help with scarring and a lot of people have told me that vitamin E oil is good so we're gonna use that this is the honey I got it's the 100% pure organic raw unfiltered honey and yeah it's gluten-free is well that is I'm not eating it but it's still either way so this is the honey that I got okay then I got this bad boy this is the like number one ingredient in it this is a soap for those of you who don't know what dr bronner's is this is an 18 in one soap you can literally use this to wash your dog your butt your teeth your hair it, your floors your laundry your dishes literally anything you can use this this is an 18 in one soap 
and there's different kinds they have tea tree they have lavender there's the baby one which is unscented they have eucalyptus they have citrus they have like there's a whole bunch of them okay but anyways so this is the one that i chose which is the tea tree like i've already said like 50,000 times because your girl has acne clearly okay so this is the biggest bottle you can get which is like 15 dollars which i know it sounds like a lot and it's probably going to be a lot like initially but this is the most expensive item and boo boo this is gonna last you forever okay this like how much you have to use of this is like nothing like i can probably make a good year supply or more of face wash and this is $15 and I normally spend like $10 on a face wash that lasts me like a month or two invest okay so yeah I got that next I got vitamin E oil and I decided to go with this one this is the up and up brand which is the Target brand it's kind of like equate like how Walmart that's like their brand up and up is for Target I got this one because there was another vitamin E oil. Um, well, they also had them in like capsules, but I'm too—I'm not trying to break a capsule. No, that's too much. So I just got this one. The other one was meant for hair, and um, it had like other stuff in it. This one was like the most like pure, I guess. I don't know, but it says that it has soybean oil, vitamin E oil, and coconut oil. So. I don't I guess it's not pure vitamin E oil but it's an oil okay and it's good and it's the most pure that we had so boom that's what I got next um I couldn't decide on a container to put it in so I was like should I get like those little pump things like for your hand soap or should I get like an old bottle or should I get like I don't know I didn't know what to get okay so I ended up going with these little things these are only a dollar once again these are the up and up brand but they are only a dollar so I got three of them um, I was thinking if I end up liking this I might end up doing like there's different colors of these so I might get like different colors of them and then maybe I can have one that's like tea tree with vitamin E oil and then maybe one that's like the unscented with like almond oil or rose hip oil or something like that and I can like you know what I mean but that's later down the line if I even end up liking this or if it even works I just want to get rid of my acne because I'm tired of it I'm tired of looking at it I'm tired of getting judged for it and I'm tired of talking about it so boom here we go so as far as making it goes if I scroll all the way to the bottom it says that the prep time is five minutes the total time to make it is five minutes the serving is eight ounces, which if you notice, I got three of these and these are three ounces, so three, six, nine. So therefore, I have an ounce left over, so it gives me a little room to breathe, you know. I didn't even know that was, I just picked three. I honestly didn't even do the math. I didn't even know it made eight servings or eight ounces, but whatever. Anyways, so I'm going to need a third cup of Castile soap, a third cup of honey, Three tablespoons of distilled water. Boiled water will also work, which we use in boiled water because I did not buy a thing of distilled water for three tablespoons. Um, I need two tablespoons of the oil, which I will be using the vitamin E oil, and that is it. That's literally it. It's three ingredients. Well, four with water, but not including water. It's three ingredients. And then you can accustom, like you, since you're making it, you can put in whatever you want, like what but I'm still using that CeraVe um the renewing one with the salicylic acid and when I and then I also got the skirt the uh, skirt the I'm getting too excited okay I'm also switching between that and then the urban skin rx the little blue one with like the soap and like the thing you know that's all over tiktok and whatnot yeah I got that too and I actually really like it but I noticed that after I use it my skin gets hella oily throughout the day like hella oily so I'm like don't know about that one chief but we're gonna test out making our own face wash and I hope it works I don't know how long I'm gonna use it or if this is gonna be like two separate videos I don't really know but let's just let's get into it and let's see let's see what's gonna happen okay okay all right let's go boil some water or something and we can like mix all that shit together and do some chemistry okay Okay, so apparently boiling water 
is not the same as distilled water. Okay, let's just make that very clear. In order to make distilled water, you have to boil the water, catch the vapor, and then that eventually turns back into water, but it's like the pure water, and I'm not trying to catch no vapor, okay? So I went to Tom Thumb and I got me some distilled water, okay? Damn, this is heavy. This is only 99 cents. But anyways, so now it's time to mix them together. I have all my ingredients right over here. I know you can't see it. Shit, how should I do this? Should I back you guys up? I don't even have a table. I don't know, but anyways. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all my ingredients and I'm gonna put them in this bad boy. Um, this is just a water bottle. I never use it, I don't even like it because it makes that like weird suction-y sound like whenever you try to drink out of it. So I just took out the straw and I'm just gonna put it in here and use it to, you know, shimmy shimmy shake and mix it up. So anyways, let's get out our, oh shit. Let's get out our recipe right quick like. So I need, oh and it said to do to add the water, and then the soap, and then the honey, and oh, I forgot a spoon. <sighs> I'll be back, I'm gonna go get a tablespoon. Okay, so I got my measuring spoons. I thought we didn't have any, but turns out I do. So the first thing we're gonna add is the water. I don't even need the damn spoon yet. So I have a measuring cup. I need a third cup. I'm lying. Why am I so confused? Okay, so three tablespoons of water. So I only need, th I got this whole gallon and I only need three tablespoons. I'm about to spill this everywhere. Okay, so instead of me um, trying to like pour this big old gallon into here and be stupid and spill it everywhere, I'm gonna pour it in here. And then I'm just gonna scoop it out of here and put it in my bottle, okay? One tablespoon. How many do I need? Two tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Now, so the water is in here. That is not that much water, to be honest. But anyways, so we have the water. Now we need the soap. And I need a third cup of the soap. And this is actually very liquidy because um, I don't I don't know why it's liquidy, but it's it's actually really liquidy. So like if you try to use it as body wash, uh, which I use the peppermint one for body wash, it literally goes all the way through the loofah. So I usually mix it with my like normal body wash, you know. So I need a third of a cup. See, out of this whole thing. Uh, out of this whole thing that's how much I used for a third of a cup imagine how many face washes you can make out of this okay wow I really feel like I'm in chemistry class right now and I'm kind of not very mad about it okay so now we have the soap and now I have to add the honey and the oil so I need a third cup, a third cup of honey. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I love the taste of honey. Like my old boss, she used to have a thing of honey just sitting in there. Um, she's from Taiwan, so she she's really into like, I don't know, like when I was sick one time, she brought me like this little black thing and she made me eat it and it was disgusting, but I was literally like brand new the next day. Like, it was like I was never even sick. And I was like, wow. I wanted to stay home for a few days, but this works too. Now we're going to pour the honey into here. Okay. Now the oil. It says that I'm supposed to shake it until the honey is fully dissolved. So we're going to put this lid on mighty tight, okay, and we're just going to shake her. 
Why am I so excited? I can't tell if the honey is dissolved because there's bubbles everywhere. I guess I'm gonna just let these sit. And hopefully, yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and I will catch you guys later whenever I feel like it's time to update you. I guess. All right guys, so today is a different day. I am still in my red shirt because that's all I do is go to work. I'm like about to get ready right now so I can leave, but I wanted to stop and give you guys a quick update since I just washed my face. So this is now what the face washes look like. Um, they're not filled all the way to the top. I've obviously been using them a little bit, so I think this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that I've been using. But I also filled this one up the least because whenever I was filling it up... Okay, so you guys seen that this was pretty much like all foam at first, but I let them sit and I popped them open like that before um, I went to sleep just so that way like they could sit overnight pretty much. And now this is what they look like. I have been using it. It is pretty liquidy, but I honestly don't mind it. It's a little bit thicker than the soap itself, but it's basically the same consistency. But whenever you start to like wash your face, it lathers up like very, very nicely. So what I've been doing is whenever I wash my face with it, after I'm done um, and all the suds are on my face, I let it sit for like just a few seconds. Or not a few seconds, but like, you know what I mean? Like I let it sit for a minute until I feel like it's good. And like I let all the ingredients like soak into my skin and then I wash it off and I've noticed that my skin has not been as oily I haven't been breaking out like yes my skin is still bad obviously that's gonna take time but I noticed on this side of my face my scarring is really starting to fade it always looks way worse on camera for some reason I don't know why but on this side um, it's starting to fade just a little bit um, and then over here I haven't been breaking out that much around my mouth. Uh, I really, really like this face wash so far. I've been using it for, I think I've been using it for like three or four days now. And I'm obsessed, to be honest. I use it morning and night. Um, and yeah, I love it. I do suggest, do not shake it. I know it says shake it and my stupid ass was shaking it. And then that's what made it all foamy. Just get like a spoon or something and just stir it until the honey dis dissolves that way. You don't have to sit there and wait like I did and make your life 10 times harder. I just listen to the, the little ingredient recipe thing and yeah, don't do that. Just stir it with something until it dissolves um, because it is soap. So of course it's going to like, you know, bubble up and lather up and stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to make your life easier, use a spoon. Don't shake it. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I will probably do like a one month update or something like that with this. So that way I can give you guys like the full effect and full review on it. But as of now, I'm obsessed with it. If you guys end up trying it out, please let me know. And let me know if you like it or let me know if you guys end up using your own ingredients or what you guys end up doing. Or if you already make your own, I would like to know what you use so maybe I can test that out and see how that goes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support on my skincare videos because this is my number one insecurity so I love to educate you guys on it and it's just something I love doing. So anyways, I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!